Okay, here's my fast paint. My carpet's getting replaced, so I don't have to worry about it. If I did, I like to use a, like a 45 gallon trash bag, and then I just move it with me as I go. This way I never track anything uh, from the drop cloth on something else. Sometimes a drop cloth can be it can trick you because you know, you can drop something on it and step on it and uh, carry it with you wherever you go. You can actually get pretty close to the ceiling. You can use a weenie roller or you can take your roller, turn it sideways, and that allows you to get fairly close. Or if you're painting the other wall the same color, you just roll right up against it. And when you're ready to cut in, a little container like a cup makes it much easier to carry your paint with you. But what I like to do is cut it in as I go. The reason is the paint right next to it is already there and you can kind of drag it in and go a little further with the paint as well as a little faster as you drag it in. If you're doing a color change, of course, it's going to show up more, but still, it's a faster way to paint. Okay, and then cutting lower, you just dip in your tray and cut it right in. I like to roll and paint kind of at the same time in that the whole thing will have one skin. It'll all kind of dry together and you get a more uniform coverage. And the other thing is you kind of get to enjoy that the, the job's getting completed kind of wall by wall or room by room. And so you can kind of see the progress pretty quickly. The other thing that's cool about it is it's, it's very ergonomic for your body in that you're not doing only one thing, you know, going around cutting in forever or going around just rolling forever. This way you're, you're bending down, you're stooping down, you're reaching up, but you're spreading out all of that over time. So it's more therapeutic for your body. You can turn your roller sideways, kind of get in between these. You can also get fairly close with the roller, but it's also just easy enough to come right around with your paintbrush. Now, I like to leave my outlets on the wall um, and just paint around them. A lot of people will take them all off. I just paint real close to them, up against them. I do like caulking them on and then painting around them in that no bugs or anything are going to come through there. No ants are either going to go in there or come out of there. Also dust is less likely to collect there as the air conditioner pulls through. Sometimes it can pull dust and stuff into there. Uh, the problem there is if you go to paint or do a color change or change outlets, then you've got to slice off your outlets with a box cutter first. And if someone doesn't do that, they can pull some of the texture off the wall. So that's kind of the problem with caulking them on. So I usually caulk on the electrical outlets. And a lot of times the cable outlets, I'll just leave them not caulked on because, because of that. But it still gives a much nicer completed finish and less pests and everything if they are caulked on. So I still like caulking them on this is what I'm trying to say but I can see the advantage of not doing it and so there's definitely some different schools of thought on that the other thing is if you do have to take the outlets off once you've caulked them on you no longer have like unsightly gaps so if you slice through it and then replace the outlet cover it um, a lot of times it's not needed to really caulk it on again in that the caulking has already filled in the irregularities. 
So if you're at a place that looks kind of, you know, too much space between the outlets and the wall, and it makes it look kind of ghetto, then uh, caulking and painting the outlets will definitely improve that. I'm just painting over my register here. I've already taken a broom to all this, to knock the uh, dust off. And um, now I'm just painting it on in. Also already gone to, around and filled all the nail holes and everything so that everything comes out good. Baseboard, cut it in, some more paint. And this is just my fast, fast paint for a while. All right, and we're all done. Now. That's fast painting the wall. Thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance, over now.